The strongest acid in water is hydronium ion. Whatever stronger acid you put in aqueous solution, it will instantly become hydronium ion and an ion of that compound you put. You cannot override strands of hydronium. But if you want to go to higher acidity, can we do something? Yes, we can. We just need to go from aqueous solutions to other solvents. The best approach is to go to pure acid solutions. And some of these acids are so strong that we name them super acids. Same is true for bases. When you are coming from water to non aqueous solutions, you need to use so called Hammett function, H0 instead of pH. Uh, which is continuation of pH scale out of usual range 0 to 14. So, if you take pure sulfuric acid, uh, you will have pH of minus 12. No, this is not pH. You cannot have H plus concentration 10 power 12. This is relative strength of acid. So you are moving in acidity same way as you are moving from diluted sodium hydroxide to H plus and then the same jump in acidity from one molar sulfuric acid to pure sulfuric acid. If you add more SO3, you'll have H2S2O7, which will have Hammett function of minus 15. If you remove one of oxygens and replace it with fluorine, you will have fluorosulfonic acid with Hammett function minus 15.1. Now, it's interesting, when you remove water, even weak acid can become stronger. Like hydrogen fluoride, which is weak acid, when it is pure liquid, is becoming fantastically strong super acid. And the reason is such an equation, three molecules of HF giving us H2F cation, not hydronium, but H2F, you, you see, it's somehow similar to hydronium. And HF2 minus an ion. Plurotrephlic acid, so CF3 and sulfuric, is also very strong in pure state. Now, addition of antimony pentafluoride SBF5 makes these solutions even stronger acidic. So, fluorosulfonic acid plus SBF5 has Hammett function of minus 19. It's so strong it can protonate hydrocarbons. So, it was named magic acid because when the candle on Christmas was put accidentally in solution of it, it just dissolved, being protonated. Uh, the strongest acid we know for today is a mixture of HF and SBF5. So there is cation of this sort and an ion of such type. In fact, it's more complex. You have chain of SB5 units connected through F2 minus 
like here and you have cation like that H2F plus what these acids can do they can protonate hydrocarbons even methane which is absolutely against the rules you have five bonds to methane but uh, in fact there are four of them one is connected to two hydrogen atoms what's geometry of this molecule uh, it's something like on the move like this cartoon uh, you have something between D3H or C4V or even this another very common protonation reaction uh, uh, may involve different hydrocarbons so uh, it's uh, very important in oil processing nitric acid when it's put in sulfuric acid makes NO2 plus cation and H3O plus so you have one more cationic species that is fantastically important in organic chemistry uh, same story happens with uh, basis when you have basic solution in water strongest base is hydroxide ion phosphate is weaker cyanide even weaker ammonia and hydrazine are relatively weak bases can we go with stronger base than hydroxide yes but we need to get rid of water so example of super bases are potassium hydride and sodium gium hydride uh, but this is not strong enough such a molecule as lithium amide of this structure is fantastically strong base of course super acids and super bases instantaneously react with water making hydroxide and hydronium so all these works only in complete absence even of traces of water